Aquarius, my name is Christy Robinette, and this is What's in the Stars for You for the month of November. It's a little bit of a messy month for you, but it doesn't mean that it's negative, just so you know right from the get-go. So we have a new moon that is on November 4th that's in the astrological sign of Scorpio. This is going to make you feel a little bit frustrated with career, with work, with even relationships and doubting the relationships that you're in. So the first two weeks of November, there may be a bit of a blow up with someone that you love. There may be some doubting whether you should be in that relationship or doubting with should you be in that friendship or there there's some messiness with that that comes to play. It is going to have you rethinking and reprioritizing who you want to have in your circle. It's going to have you renegotiating who is your biggest cheerleader. And if there is none, or if there is one that is sabotaging you or not helping you, it might be time for you to let go. Now, you don't love, you're so loyal, and you don't love to let go. Instead, oftentimes you just hold a grudge and you wait it out. But this energy of this month is challenging you to take a step forward with what is going to benefit you in the long run, which brings some emotion. And then emotion carries into November 19th when we have a full moon in Taurus, which really makes you feel anxious. It is about finances. It is about pragmatic thinking. It is going to have you second guessing yourself in your work. And it is really honestly those those couple days before and after that full moon, this is a reminder to feel your feelings, jump up and down, throw things, cry, do whatever you feel, but don't maybe make any huge shifts until you're feeling a little bit more emotionally grounded. Now, there is likely a huge promotion or an opportunity that's going to come your way. And maybe that's where some of the emotions are playing in because there might be some issues with confidence or timing even. So there is that. It's not all messy, but it, there's some definite messy elements that's going to come for you in November. It's going to end up helping you into the new year is just like a clean out that has to happen. Um, it's like cleaning out the garage. You're going to get dusty, right? But then afterwards, it's super, it's you, you kind of have this oh, contentment. That's what's going on. So the first card that kind of fell out for you in this tarot deck is Six of Pentacles. And this is showing that they want you to have a little bit more control of your money. So I don't know if you don't know what your final financial advisor is doing or a spouse is doing or a friend, whatever. But they want you to kind of figure out your financials. Or sometimes people just do this and they pray that there's money in their account and like it's going to magically be there and it's going to be balanced. Remember when we used to balance checkbooks? Am I aging myself? So this is that they just want you to be a little bit more on it. The second one is Two of Swords and this is you feeling stuck. Again, by the end of the month, I think that the blindfold comes off and you don't feel as stuck. And then there's a justice card. There's some unfairness that's going to be happening this month for you. And it's time to take back that just feeling. You are entitled to a voice in your life. And this is what is going to lead you to a chance for new beginnings. My name is Christy and you have a beautiful November. Premium.